Welcome to this basic tutorial that will show you how to export from Unreal Engine to Motiva Layama. To illustrate that integration, we will use this scene that Epic Games has in its own platform. In this case, we have ray tracing enabled, but this is not mandatory at all. You can use any technology compatible with Unreal. How we can export this scene? In a really simple way, you only need to add some cameras. We can use regular or cinematic cameras, never mind. Both will make exactly the same work. We will place them in the points we consider the most interesting ones. Of course, we can use this thumbnail to help us to select the best point of view. Ok, I think that this is a nice one for starting. I really think that it's much more comfortable to use the top view to place the cameras. So we can go to this corner and select top. Also, notice that the camera orientation is ignored in all the cameras but for the initial one. This one will be the started point on our web. We will move the camera to view all the entire living room from the left. Once we are happy with this position, we can name the camera to find it easily in the Layama application. So we can tag it there as the initial camera. Let's continue by making some copies of the camera to fill most of the space. In Unreal we have no problems with the render time, so we can place lots of them. By dragging it in the viewport with the Alt key pressed, we will create a new copy. Also, we will rename it to select the initial camera easier in the Layama application. Using this one as the base, we will create some more copies. One to visit this zone and another one to go to the plant zone. Let's place another one near the shelf. And we will skip this void area and place a couple of them over there. I think that we will need another for the corner. For this one, we will need three more cameras. This one, this one, and another one near the plant. It's convenient to remember that not all the cameras need to have the same height. For example, I will rotate this one, go to perspective mode, and I will lower it a little bit. So when we move from this camera to another one on the web, we will notice that the virtual camera on the web will also change its own height. Let's add some more cameras over there. I will make some new copies using these cameras since we want that the new cameras have the original height instead the lower one. As we said before, having lots of cameras in Unreal is not a problem at all. So I will create some more copies. One near the plant and a couple for this chair. Another one for the other chair and also one in the corner that could be helpful. Let's continue with the sofa. As I said before, sometimes it looks nicer if you have a different heights for different cameras. In this case, I want the camera to go lower when I come near to the sofa, so we will be able to have a closer look of it. I will go back to the top view, add some more cameras and fill all the entire room. For now we have distributed enough cameras, having more density in the most interesting spots. Once we are happy with this distribution, we only need to open the Layama export panel. As you can see, there are actually a few options available, since Layama is an application really easy to be used. To make this even easier, its control has its own tooltip. If you place your mouse pointer over any control, you will get its complete description. The first combo box is really useful for objects like Grash. It will make foliage objects to be ignored in the geometry reconstruction, but it will be rendered anyway. This will make the Laya machine much simpler. The second option has only effect if rotation is enabled. If not, it is just ignored. It switches between your current settings or forcing the maximum quality available. Obviously, that maximum quality will have impact in your render export time. The third one defines what it should do after finalizing the export process. We can open the Layama application or just make nothing. Finally, we can use this control to select the output path. Just click it to select a folder. Clicking on this button will start the export process. As you can see, the export process is split in two phases. The first one that manages the render targets, it means auxiliary channels, and the final renders in the second one. 
In the second stage, you will see that window that shows the actual renders. If we set the option, once this process is complete, the Layama application will be open. If not, we should open it manually. Its usage will be explained in the next tutorial. To end this video, I want to share a tip. To illustrate this case, we will use this space CPC. If you take a look to go from this room into another one, we should go through that hole, in the same way that we need to go through doors in a house. I will create an initial camera and place it in the top part of the ship. Notice that if I place a second camera over here, you won't be able to go from the first one to this new camera, since we should go through the wall. To avoid this, we should go through the bottom hole. So we will need a third camera that has direct visibility from both cameras. So we can go from the first camera to the third camera and from the door camera to the second camera. Obviously, this is the same procedure we need to implement in houses, corridors, doors and rooms. Thank you for your time.